Hello and welcome to the render training. How to create a pair of socks in 3D using Clo, Adobe Creative Cloud, Adobe Stock, and Adobe Substance 3D Collection. Open a new project in Adobe Illustrator and choose the A3 size, adjusting the measurements if necessary. Import and place the image with a basic figure to build the basic pattern in vector. Lock the layer with the image and create a new working layer. Building only half of each figure will help you later when using shapes in Clue 3 d Delete the layer with the initial image and sort the new vectors in the workspace. Save and close. Open a new project in Clo and import the pattern created previously in Adobe Illustrator. Unfolds all the shapes to have symmetrical figures. Now apply the necessary seams, using the tool as you prefer. Upload a new avatar and delete shoes with the delete hair slash shoes option. Now prepare the shapes for the simulation. You can also increase the size to make the process easier. You can use the most convenient method as long as the result is as expected. The sock should wrap around the avatar's foot. Time to fix the sock. You can reduce the size to make it fit the avatar's foot. Use the merge option to join the front pattern. This way the texture of the materials will be continuous. You can play with the materials and add as many details as you'd like for the sock. Each 3D artist has their own style. These are just suggestions or tips. Many would already be happy with these details. The best thing you can do to stand out is 
exaggerate. As you'll see now, in the next few seconds. Search for a foot display in the Adobe Stock 3D Library. Download it and get ready to import it into Clo. Delete all avatars and import the foot display as an OBJ. Fit the sock to the foot display which is now your new avatar. Surely the simulation will not succeed at the first shot, it will be fun though to play with this simulation. It only takes a few seconds and it's done. To create the reverse sock, simply duplicate the patterns of the first sock in symmetry. And always remember to save your projects. To use designs created in Clue and other 3D software, you'll need to adjust the UV maps. This topic will be covered in another video. After fixing the UV maps, export the socks as GLB. Double check all the options.
Now is the time to use the full potential of Adobe Substance 3D Stager. Upload your created GLB file into Clo. Change materials and set parameters correctly. Now you can understand why it was important to fix the UV maps before exporting the file. Look at the toe and talon of the sock, they have a different mapping. Search among the assets offered by Adobe Substance 3D for a model called Cyclorama. Download it using the credits available in your account. Import the file and delete the parts you don't need. Thanks for watching, like, share, comment on this video. Also, subscribe to the Render channel, and don't forget to click on that bell icon to get regular updates on new videos.